Hi, Piers Van Hamburg here and I'd like to welcome you to my July market review. Now we've just passed the 30th of June and it's a great time to look back on how did the property market go last calendar year. It was a great year for the property market. Now in my last video review I mentioned that I've just been renovating an old office in Neutral Bay and I've converted it into a fantastic loft style apartment. This is it just behind me, let's go and take a look. Now we've got it converted from commercial to residential and we've renovated it with almost like a New York style industrial look. It's been a fantastic journey renovating this apartment and it's great to see it's come out to be such an interesting space. And now onto the property market. For the month of June, we found it was another exceptional month for our business. Winter has been very strong. To give you an idea, we did 62 sales across the three offices. Our auction clearance rate came in at a very healthy 90%. Now that's 90% of properties sold at or before auction. That's a really strong figure. Also in Sydney, that same figure was around the 74% mark. So it's not just us, it generally is the whole market has really been performing. So why is it so much stronger this time of year versus last year? To give you an idea, the auction clearance rates this time last year were around about 50%. Again, I think it's predominantly down to those low rates. Rates have not been this low for a very long time. The other thing is the Australian dollar has now dipped below a dollar and is trading in the 90s. Now this is another great thing for the market because it attracts overseas investors and expats to the Australian market. So this can also only be a good thing for us. Now I'm going to run you through some great sales that I had in the month of June. The first one was 23 McDougall Street, Kirribilli. This was a beautifully renovated semi. It didn't have parking. We were quoting more than $1.65 million and we sold that one well over the price guide. The other one was 49 Column Street, Camaray. Now this was a very Greek style house that needed some renovating. It was actually on with another agent late last year. They couldn't get the result. We took it on, got it sold before auction, again for a fantastic price well over the price guide of over $2 million. Now in the sub $1 million mark, Scott Thornton and I sold a fantastic garden apartment. Now this was at G1 of 131 Spencer Road in Mossman. This was a beautiful two bedroom apartment. It had a great courtyard on title. We were quoting more than $750,000 and we sold it prior to auction for $850,000. We find that garden apartments are very popular and we really can't get enough of them. So when they do come up, there's plenty of buyers and they often sell well over reserve. Now during the month of June, we signed up 64 new listings. So we've got some fantastic properties about to hit the market. Right at the moment, I've got 10 A Long Road in Cremorne. Now this is a beautiful freestanding house with views over Primrose Park. We're quoting more than $1.55 million and I genuinely think that one's worth an inspection. I also recommend 22 Reynolds Street in Cremorne. Now this is a two bedroom plus study semi. We're quoting more than $1.25 million. It's north facing at the back and it's in a great spot. Now another great property is 36 Parawine Street in Cremorne. This is a beautifully renovated three bedroom semi. It's on 400 square metres of land. It's north facing at the back and we're quoting more than $1.65 million. Definitely worth a look. Now I forgot to mention to you that I'm actually living in the apartment that I've just renovated. So right while I'm in the middle of filming, the kids have come home. So on that note, I wanna say thank you for listening to my market review and I look forward to seeing you in August. Bye. Bye.